Hello everyone and welcome back to Instead Time. In today's video, I'm going to be adding network attached shared storage to my Proxbox server. Specifically, I have a shared folder on my Synology drive that I'm going to map to Proxbox in order to store backups on. And so first I need to go to my Synology NAS and here in the control panel, I'm going to create a shared folder. And since I already have one Proxmox, I'm going to do Proxmox underscore two and click next. And there's no need for enabling any of the other features on this. And I want to make sure that I have read write access to this. And I'm going to click apply. That should be all I need to do on my Synology side. So I'm going to go back to my Proxmox server. So back in Proxmox, I want to add this shared folder to the entire data center. So I'm going to go to data center view. I'm going to click on storage. I'm going to add storage. And for this setup, this is going to be SMB storage. For the ID, I'm going to call it my Synology 11, which is the name of my Synology NAS. I'm going to want the server IP address, which I will blur out in the video. I'm going to put my user ID in there. And this is why I wanted to make sure that I put it underneath my user. And then I need to put my password in. And then it's going to be my proxmox underscore two. And underneath content, you choose what you'll be storing or what you're going to allow to be stored on this shared folder. And so I'm going to select this image, container template, VZ dump backup file, and snippets. So basically this drive will be used for making backups of all my virtual objects in proxmox. And that honestly should be good enough. So I'm going to click add and you should see it added right in here. And you should have also seen it show up over here in this menu as well. And then this is where you'll actually see all the objects that are being stored on it once we use it. And just as a side, the storage locations are going to show up in alphabetical order of the name you gave it. So I gave mine Synology as his name and so it's showing up above the local because S comes before L in the ABC format. And so since I'm going to use this for backup, I'm going to go back to data center. I'm going to go to backups and I'm just going to create a quick backup job that runs every day at 2100 hours. It's going to back up everything and it defaulted to storing my Synology NAS, which is handy. And I'm going to keep everything else as the default and click create. So now the next time this backup job runs, it's going to store my backups on my Synology NAS. And so to get a quick look at what that would look like, I'm going to click on this container here. I'm going to go to backup. I'm going to click on backup now. Again, it's defaulting to my Synology. I'm going to do snapshot mode and we'll click backup. And that successfully ran. So I'm going to close out of here. I'm going to go to my Synology NAS where my backups are being stored at. And if I go to backups, I'll see the backup I just took. So I can tell on this end that it's working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my Synology NAS. I'm going to go to the file station. I'm going to go to the Proxmox 2 folder. And as you can see, I now have folders that were just added to it. And these were all added by Proxmox when the backup job run. So if I go to the dump folder, I see the actual tar ZST file, which is the backup of the, of the VM itself, along with the log from when the backup was taken and any notes that were associated with the backup. It successfully made a backup of this container to my Synology NAS for me. And that's set up to run automatically once a day for me at 2100 hours. And so we easily were able to create a shared folder in Synology and add that shared folder to our Proxmox server and schedule backups to be stored onto that shared Synology folder. I thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. Please hit the like button. It really helps this channel grow. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I'm always open to doing a viewer requested video if there's something specific you would like for me to answer. And click the subscribe button so that you'll get a notification the next time I upload a video. And I will see y'all in the next video.